What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to be sharing 10 of the best places that you can find free fonts for your low and no content books. Now if you're new here my name's Paddy and every other day I like to bring out videos teaching you how to make money with nothing more than your internet connection and your laptop. So go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. Also, if you're serious about low and no content book publishing, then check out that link down in the description below to go to the LCB vault. Within here, I add brand new trainings every single week on everything I'm doing to increase my royalties. You can also get there by going to the lcbvault.com. So, in this video I'm going to share 10 of the best resources that I have found where you can get free fonts to create your covers with and create your interiors with for your low and no content books. Now what I'm going to do is just give you a quick rundown of my 10 best websites. Now what you need to do though is still read the licensing for all of these websites to see if you can actually use them commercially and sell them on a book. So the first one is Google Fonts. I don't really hear many people talking about this one, but it's a really great resource to get some fonts. And if I remember correctly, Google Fonts has over 800 different font families. Every font is downloadable and they're all open source, which means all the fonts on Google Fonts you can actually use how you please. So you can use them commercially, for personal and everything in between. So Google Fonts is on the top 10. Now what I'm going to do is actually leave all the links to these sites down in the description below so you can go through and check them out. Now the next one is Font Squirrel. So this is another great resource and if we read here, free fonts have met their match. We know how hard it is to find quality freeware that is licensed for commercial work. We've done the hard work. Hand selecting these typefaces and presenting them in an easy to use format. Here are some of our favorites. So if we scroll down, the majority of the fonts on this website are for commercial use. But again, always remember to do your own due diligence into any font that you may use. So that's another good one, Font Squirrel. We have Font Space, so another great resource. So with font space, I believe there's something like over 32,000 fonts on the site. So there's actually a lot to choose from. Now, quite a lot on these are personal use, as we can see here. All you have to do is hover over them, over them to see. And if we go to browse right here, we can choose all the different types. So that's another great one. Then we have Defont. So I think most people, when they think of free fonts, they actually think of Defont. I know I do. I've used these in the past. Now, there's a lot on here that are for personal use and commercial use. You just have to do your digging. You have all these to choose from. So go ahead and check out the font. You can find some really, really great fonts on here. Then the next one isn't specifically a font site. It's actually for graphics, but you can get free fonts on here, and that is Creative Fabrica. So once you're on Creative Fabrica, if you come through to freebies just here, you can actually find a lot of free fonts. So if we scroll down here, Here's a font that we can get for free. Then if we look here, I think this is another one. No, it's not. Here's another free font. So this is just a great resource. Creative Fabrica I use for getting all the graphics for my books. 
I even pay for the paid version of Canva, not Canva, sorry, Creative Fabrica. I think I pay for the all access bundle, which gives me access to everything. But again, this is just great resource if you want to get some free fonts and graphics. So come onto the site, come to freebies, then over here as well, we can actually choose what we want to search by. So if we click on fonts, it's going to pull up all those free fonts that we can download for free. So all these here, we are allowed to use. Again, it's always a good idea just to go ahead and read the licensing. Then the next one that we have is Abstract Fonts. So this is another brilliant site. I like the layout. It's really easy to navigate and you can find some really great fonts. So all you have to do is always remember to check for that licen licensing. If it says personal use, we can't use it on books. If it says commercial, we can. So Chunk 5, I thought it was Chunky 5, but oh well. So this we can use because it says commercial use, commercial use, only personal use, so we wouldn't use that. But you can find some really great fonts on here as well. Walt Disney script, I would stay away from anything like that. And I'd never put that on a book because Disney is trademarked and you don't want to get into trouble. So the next one after that is, I'm not actually sure how you pronounce it, Behance, Behance, I'm not too sure, but another great one. But the thing with Behance, Behance, however you say it, is that it's not specifically a font website. You can find a lot of websites, not a lot of websites, you can find a lot of fonts on here that you can use, but this is more of like a um, social network for designers, but nonetheless still a great resource. Then we have Fontstruct. So with Fontstruct, it's actually a font building tool where you can design your own fonts. But there's still other fonts on here. I believe there's something like over 43,000 fonts for you to have a little look through. So another great one, that is Font Struct. Then we have 1001 fonts. So this one is very similar to the font. But there's plenty of fonts on here that you can use. Most of them you can use for commercial use, but you still need to check the licensing on any font that you may want to use. And I believe they have over 9,000 fonts on the site. Hey, look at that. Owlsbury Vale Demo Regular. That's mad. I actually live not too far away from Owlsbury here in the UK. Anyway, so that's 1,001 fonts. And then the last one that we're going to take a look at is called Urban Fonts. So with Urban Fonts, they have a really nice layout, which makes it a lot easier to actually find fonts as we can search through categories just here. So if we go on Funky, we can actually have a look. Again, you are going to need to read the licensing on any fonts that you want to use. See, there we go. There's all the funky fonts. Now, I thought I would just give you a quick overview of all these sites. You now have 10 different sites where you can get free fonts. I am going to leave all the links for them down in the description below if you want to go through and check them out. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.